Early matchlocks as highlighted in the Babarnama, 16th century, the hand cannon was initially used in penis land in the 13th century. The hand cannon was an extremely easy weapon, including a metal tube enclosed on one end, with a touch hole drilled into the side of it. Gunpowder and ammunition were put in the tube, and a match, a brief piece of burning rope, was touched to the touch hole, causing the powder to take off and the ammunition to be released. Hand cannons had an unrefined manage, or no manage at all. A wooden stock was added, permitting the weapon to be more easily held in fire. Early musketeers simply held onto the rope match, or attached it to their belt, which threatened given that the match could mistakenly contact the touch hole as the musketeer walked around while loading the weapon in battle. When a trigger was pulled, the lever would turn and enable the match to come in contact with the touch hole, discharging the weapon. Musketeers were utilized in the Ming Dynasty. 13,681,644, and Qing Dynasty, 16,441,911, and the 14th century Chinese military writing describes as shaped serpentine matchlock. In Zhao Shizhen's Book of 1598 Advertisement, the Shinkapu, there were illustrations of Ottoman Turkish musketmen with detailed illustrations of their muskets, alongside European musketeers with detailed illustrations of their muskets. As musket innovation quickly improved in Western Europe and the Ottoman Empire, China typically imported muskets, ultimately losing the arms race to the West by 1750. When the rifle was developed in the West, the musket lost its status as the dominant weapon. The Mughals introduced muskets to India, the weapons entered large usage by not just the Indian Mughal empires but also by rival South Indian kingdoms. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.